morning everybody just leaving breakfast came up here to the west liberty and went to the uh, liberty gathering place for breakfast this morning got caught up on all the latest gossip from my friends and my farmer friends and everything there and pretty good meal i had now we're heading over to uh king feed got to pick up some feed for the goats and the horses got to order some bulk feed for the goats getting some things routed around today uh, tomorrow morning, got a ram to uh, Columbus for a chemo treatment. And then we got to get ready for the big storm. The big storm that's coming. It's all over the board what people are saying. We're going to have this and we're going to have that. We're going to have a big snow event. We're going to have an ice event. We're going to have a rain event. We Nobody knows what's going on. So. But today we're going to get ready and make some preparations for it and stuff because if we don't prepare for it, we'll have a heck of a mess. We're heading to King Feed first and get that taken care of and then we'll see what happens after that. Going to warm up to like, I don't know, it's all, going to be almost 50 tomorrow. So, which will be, this is Monday. Tomorrow's going to be Tuesday, imagine that. And going to warm up to almost 50 degrees. So. Got that to look forward to. Probably all this snow is going to melt. The ground is frozen. And we're supposed to get some rain tomorrow and Wednesday. So we'll probably, could quite possibly have a mess. But here we are at King Feed and Supply. It's our hometown feed mill. They'll grind you a batch of feed and makes it however you want. So we're going to go in and tell them what we need and go from there. All right. Well, thank you very much. You got, thank you. you get along okay? Yep, sure am. Got to do chemo treatment first thing in the morning, but after that, I'll be fine. Thank you. You bet. Thank you. Got the warehouse here. King Feed, guys. They seem to take care of us. We've been getting our feed here. For, I've been getting my feed here all my life. Clear back when we had dairy cows and everything else, this is where we got our feed. This place has been a staple to our, our community and the farming community for all this time. Stop in here to see her and she's on her way out. What are you doing? I came to see you for a minute. Oh, hello. Uh-huh. You were like in a mission. I was, I'm out of here. It's time to go. She's gotta get her hair cut. You gotta go look pretty. Right? All right. Love you. Bye. Stop in here and drive through here. Got our line of school buses here for our fine school. Cruise on through here and get out of here and head home. Feed the goats and come up with something to do. All right. Going back out on the big road, so I'm turning this off. All right. Here we are out in the I call it the big shop here at my house. This building was actually built to be a shop and it's turned in to be the catch-all and the store-all and wedding venue. Yep, we had a wedding in here in October. Kylie had it all decorated up in here, got lights up on the ceiling and this pallet racking that I have around the edge of the building here. She had curtains hanging up, covering the stuff up that's on the shelves. And with this storm that they're calling for, you know, I don't know if we're going to get anything or not, but my snow blower, I don't know if this camera will pick it up. You can see the spout sticking up behind that curtain over there. That's where the snow blower is. And right to beside of it is where the snowmobile is. It's up there on that shelf too. We're going to get to that and get them down today. Now, I don't know if we're going to need it. Maybe we won't get any snow. I don't know. But I'll tell you what, if we leave the snow blower up there behind that curtain like that, we'll need it. So it's going to be nice today. Kylie, she's getting ready to come out. We got to fire up the loader here and uh, we got to fire up the lawnmower. And we got to just move a few things around here. I got a load of hay right here. I got to move and um, see the mowers behind it. And 856 is back here too. We may have to get it running to. To get the snowmobile down, I just can't remember what it's going to take. But uh, I know we got to move the big mower, and we got to move the eight, and we got to move this. So that's what we're going to start out doing. And we'll bring you along with us.
might get a little sketch. It was definitely sketch putting it up there. easy. He's gonna try to see if he can get the snowmobile done without moving the 856. Uh, it's looking a little sketchy. Okay. Just don't drop it. I don't want to drop it. The old girl. Nice and easy. Oh, baby. Really, this is the reason that we moved everything to get this out. We had it hidden. Now we won't get cell. now we won't get any snow. Probably won't get any snow. <laughs> and we won't need to blow her. So That's all right. At least we're ready in case. I gotta warm up. Okay. Alright, we got the battery charger on it today. The old Oliver 66 isn't gonna be able to here. He's gonna be able to load some bales up. He's gonna try to get some home here and uh, just to have them at home. It's really a nice day out. It's, uh, I don't know, 25, 25 degrees, I think. So it's, the sun's out and the wind isn't blowing, so it's really nice to be out today. We're gonna put a big square bale on the front of the wagon and we're gonna try to get four rounds on there and then we're gonna head home with it. So that's what we're gonna do.
Well, whoops. Uh-oh. <laughs> the other one gonna fall off. Oh no. As long as that front bale stays on. Exactly like I wanted it to. Really? No. Oh. I don't know where he'll put the last one. Cool. That's what you call a professionally loaded mixed load of mixed hay. Is that what you call it? Square <laughs> bales, round bales, square bales, and a little tiny round bale. So that's okay. This will get us through for a while, and I'm happy with that. So I'll get the lawnmower. We'll get her back in here. A couple thing, other things put away, and then day will be over.
Well, there it is. Snowmobiles down, that's the most important thing, because if we get some snow, we're gonna have some fun in it. But uh, we've got hay, we're stocked up on it. We're ready for the white death to come get us. But uh, hay's in here, stuff's moved around, blower's out if we need it. Hopefully I'm not gonna hook that blower up. I'll be able to do everything with my push box, hopefully. So, but it's down if we need it, so in case somebody else needs it. But I'd like to thank everybody for watching. Don't forget to check out Jess Kylie's her YouTube channel. Uh, had a lot of people wanting her to put links down somewhere, so because they having trouble finding it. So we'll get some link put in there somewhere, and um, you guys will be able to find that. But uh, just like to thank everybody for watching, and really appreciate it. Really appreciate all the support we got for Kylie and her woohoo. Yeah. But. Uh, it's all good. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you on the next one. Yeah, buddy.